I have recently allowed myself to be sucked into doing some research on my ancestry. As an only child son of an only child son, whose mom had only one old maid sister, well, we'd never actually call her that, but she didn't have any kids, I don't have any first or even second cousins. In my past investigations, I've discovered a lot about the Demotts. First one, a French Huguenot, arrived in Amsterdam in 1659. That's my name, Demott, so that's where I started. My dad, also a Demott, of course, married Jane Phillips. Now, I don't know much of anything about that lineage, except one of the Phillips boys was the head jailer at the Tombs Prison in New York City once upon a time. So there's one more family to research. Now, my mom's mom was Adele Alexander, and of course, she had a mom too. Oh, geez, this is getting complicated. Meanwhile, on my dad's side, his dad married Lucia Stevens. Just starting to figure out the Stevens migration across the country. And her dad, Frank Stevens, married Rose Barber. So I've got, let me think, DeMotts, Phillipses, Alexanders, Stevenses, Barbers, and a couple of others. And I'm only two layers up. This is like running in wet clay. The farther I get, the more bogged down I become. I was recently, on purpose, up in the little burg of Java Village, New York State, south of Buffalo, where Rose Barber, my great-grandmother, was born. Her entire family of Humphrey Barber, Rose, and her eight siblings moved to McHenry County, Illinois in 1848. It's un still unclear why. But as a child on the family farm in McHenry County, I'd always heard about Java Village. And on a recent road trip to Vermont, I created the opportunity to stop in and see this ancestral migration point. I contacted the local historical society beforehand, and they knew all about great-great-great-grandfather Humphrey Barber. As a matter of fact, by the time I got to the beautiful little village, the historical society had arranged for me to spend the morning with my cousin Ray Barber. I have a cousin! Who knew? Well, now Ray's great-great-great-grandfather was Charles Barber, Humphrey's brother. My wife, Margaret, dutifully took notes. She was thrilled. I have no idea what the magnetic draw is to this stuff. I am the keeper of hundreds, if not thousands, of letters and documents. There aren't any of my gene pool left to carry, you see. And so it has always fascinated me. But what a time suck. By the time I get as far out as great-great-great-grandfather Humphrey, to be fair to all my genetics, I should be researching 16 family trees. And by the time I get back to Michael DeMott, the displaced French Huguenot who arrived in 1659, the list would swell to 512 or maybe even 1,024 surnames. Have any of you been hooked by the family tree hobby? I can see how it can be all-consuming. I guess I'd rather ponder over how I became who I am and the tidbits of history I can find while documenting my lineage. And no matter it being of little actual use to me, I find it more entertaining, even more valuable than the current news cycles. It's Kim and Cousin Ray, and this is another moment of clarity.